Remember the key, you're the one. It's raining men. Hallelujah, it's a raining men. Amen. Here comes the rain again. Sing in the rain. Sing in the rain. I set fire to the rain. Watch it burn. Purple rain, purple rain. Hard to hold a candle in the cold November rain. Hey, so today we're going to talk about shower doors, why we upgraded and why we think you should upgrade to this specific door. Stick around and we'll tell you why. Hey everybody, it's Robert, AKA The Tall Man. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about shower doors, why we upgraded and why we think you should upgrade as well. We are always talking about shower doors. There's basically three types. You have your glass door, you have your regular type shower curtain, and you've got retractable ones. In the RV, it's either gonna be too long, like this one, where it's down touching the bottom, which means you're stepping on it because this tub is very, very small, or it's shorter where it's not touching, and then being a big guy, when you're in the shower, and you're doing things, you're hitting the curtain, and inevitably the curtain will end up on the outside of the shower. Therefore, water is getting on the floor. And there's woodwork and things down there, and you're creating a bigger problem. Now the glass door. There are also several reasons why we don't like the glass doors. It's really hard to keep them clean. Okay, now we're not neat freaks, but you know, soap scum and water stains, glass doors can be challenging. Down here in the track. Now you can do your best to keep the glass clean, but keeping this track clean, absolutely impossible. And it just ends up looking crappy. You see this little latch right here? This is what secures the doors in place for travel. If you forget to latch it or you hit a big enough bump and that opens, I promise you when you get to where you're going, these things are gonna be in pieces. And it is expensive to replace these glass panels. Uh, three, four, five hundred bucks, okay? And so it's for this reason that we really don't like the glass panels. There's a handle on the outside for you to grab. Now on the inside, there is not, there's no handle like this, but the whole thing is actually handled. So you simply open it and it pushes into place and closes and vice versa. Now what's cool about this door is there's a built-in squeegee, right? So every time it closes after you've taken a shower, it squeegees all the water off. With the glass, we talked about the track. You see, there's no track down here for soap and scum to get built into. See this opening? It's huge. If this was glass doors, you'd have a very, very small opening to get in and out of the shower. But here you have full range. Cleaning, no chemicals are used. Um, it's hypoallergenic. I mean, we've been in this RV for a year and a half now and it still looks absolutely brand new. Uh, I could go on and on and on about this door and how much we love it. All right, now before we get to installation, I have put a link down in the description of where you can get this door. So once you go through the rest of the video and see the installation and how easy it is, if you want uh, to get the door, again, just click the link down there and we've linked it to the cheapest place to get it, which is actually Amazon. Now we've already upgraded our RV, so I can't show you how it's done, but I do have the instructional video that I'm gonna roll so that you can see how it's done. So basically you need a tape measure, you need a level, you need a pencil, you need uh, a little hacksaw to cut your trim down to length, and uh, a, a caulking gun. Or you can buy caulk that's in a tube that you can just squeeze. All right, so first, before you can install, you gotta remove your old shower curtain or your old shower door. All right, I can't tell you how to do that because I'm not in your RV, all right? Once that's done, you wanna make sure you clean that area thoroughly and then let it dry. Draw a straight line along the top of the shower pan or tub where you would like to position the door. Next, place the canister against the shower wall with the handle facing out. You can choose to place the canister on either the left or the right hand wall. Simply flip the canister over to mount it on the opposite wall. 
Position the canister against the shower wall so the edge of the rail end cap is aligned with your pencil mark on the shower pan or tub edge. Remove the paper backing from the double-sided tape found on the back of the canister. Align the canister vertically with the edge of the enclosure wall. Press it firmly against the wall. Be careful not to touch the sticky tape to the wall until you have the canister aligned vertically. Once the tape is adhered to the wall, it is very difficult to remove. Next, position the side rail against the opposite wall so the edge of the rail end cap is aligned with your pencil mark. Remove the paper backing from the double-sided tape on the back of the side rail. Align the rail vertically with the edge of the enclosure wall. Press it firmly against the wall. You are ready to install the Nautilus shower bottom and top rails. To do this, first measure the distance between the canister and the side rail at the top and deduct one quarter inch. Transfer this measurement to one of the rails and cut it to length. Repeat this process for the lower rail. Next, insert the slider into the upper rail and then insert the upper rail into the upper canister end cap. Unclip the upper end cap from the side rail and place it over the end of the upper rail, then snap it back into place. Repeat this procedure for the lower shower rail. Operate the Nautilus retractable shower door a few times to make sure it operates and latches smoothly. Caulk the inside perimeter of the Nautilus shower door and allow caulk to dry. Now, I will tell you, it costs about $230, but as opposed to replacing three, four, five, six hundred dollar glass doors, this is far cheaper. You have to do it one time, and I'm telling you, you will thank us to the end of time. Now, there is one thing different that I did when I installed it. As you see, there are a couple of screws in here. Now, the installation did not require screws, but I just added it to get it a little bit more beefy. Now, don't forget, we put a link down in the description for you guys to pick up that door. We really hope that you like what you saw today and saw how easy this is to install and how much more it's gonna benefit you guys than the doors that you have in your RV. If it does, do us a favor. When you upgrade, leave us a little note down there in the comment section and, and let us know how it went for you guys, all right? We appreciate y'all watching the video and until the next time, be safe.